How we doing? I know some of you guys have been up watching the coronation because that's a, a pretty big deal for um, a lot of my friends, Canadians, my English friends and people around the world. So uh, good morning. I think you've been up for a while. Hope you got your Wheaties in and uh, you're ready to go. We're starting our Vicki Booten Day of Celebration for International Scrapbook Day with the We Are Memory Keepers printmaker. So I have had this thing for a while. I did a kind of um, introductory with it uh, months back. I think it would have been in the fall. And I thought this will be a fun thing to bring in. And then my friends at American Crafts and We Are Memory Keepers are going to give one away. So it is a big deal. And this is what I want to talk to you about. It's how today is going to run. So we are going to be doing the printmaker for about an hour and then um, I'll get out of here, go into the other link for a couple hours of my friend Tim Holtz and Ranger and I, I've even prepped the layout so I have a solid plan of attack. Uh, you guys can do the same things as I'm doing or just kind of play along and hang out for the day. I know you'll be switching back and forth between lots of different lives and uh, content today because everyone who loves paper crafting is probably doing something today for International Scrapbook Day. So for some of you guys, like Kari just said, I have it and have never taken it out of the box. I totally understand because I am of the school of if it's cool, I need to have it, but it doesn't mean that I necessarily use it, right? Like multiple die cutting machines, multiple of all the things. If it's cool, I want it. I know that I'll have some, at some point, I'm going to have time to do it. So um, I did like a deep dive with this on Thursday, playing with the printmaker. And if you like, I don't know, uh, using your label maker, um, stickers, uh, being able to customize and make things your own. I love this thing. So it's not, maybe not for everybody, but I love it. I can see multiple, multiple uses of this and uh, we're gonna play with it. I'm not gonna talk for long. I'm gonna, I think everybody who's gonna be here is here or, or you're gonna check in. But like I was saying, here's, here's the plan for today. Printmaker for an hour. I've prepped lots of things. I've, I'm going to just go through the basics of it. This isn't an in-depth kind of printmaker how-to, but you can ask questions. I'll come back and answer them if um, I don't see them right away because it's a sh for Vicky, this is a short block of time. An hour? What can this girl do in an hour? Um, and if you have any other questions, put them in. When this live is done, underneath the video screen the picture you will see where the comment section is and that is where if you want me to come back circle back and answer any questions put them in there but also with the giveaway that's where your comments for a chance to win will go in the comment section below not the live uh comments okay so um at the end of this make sure you have a whole week to put your name in for a chance to win a printmaker so uh, very excited but uh, what is the function of the printmaker we're gonna talk about all of the things right hello from Germany hello Margie how are you is it Margie or Margie um, hello so hello lots of friends how was Billy Idol last night uh, it was awesome if you saw my pictures I was like touching distance that's how close I was to Billy so um, was very good it was one of those like bucket list things and my bucket list is a bucket book <laughs> so Glad I got to check that one off. So I'm going to flip the camera around. In my ultimate wisdom, I put this up as a YouTube video. I didn't put it into uh, StreamYard, so I have to jiggle you and flip the camera around. Don't panic. The volume's very loud when I'm in front of it. When I flip the camera, just turn your vol volume up. Make sure you hover over the little um, gear tool. If your uh, quality isn't so great, make sure it's set on 720p. If for some reason we lose connection, because it can happen with technology, I'll just start a new link and post it in the description of this video. But fingers crossed. I'm hoping because I said it, we'll have no problem. So let's get into it. It's 10.05. That leaves me about 45 minutes to do something. So let's do the things, right? So yay! I know, and I haven't even, I love, you know, I, the talking part is my favorite. And I didn't even really get to say good morning to all of you guys. A bucket book 
It's not a bucket list. It's a bucket book, right? So I'm doing that because Vicky does all the things. It's not a lie when I say do all the things. So that wasn't too bad, the jiggle jiggle, right? I didn't make you guys too sick. But you know what? This isn't a perfect studio setup. It is what it is, right? It's just your friendly neighborhood crafter. So I'm going to move this up. So sorry if you can see junk all over my desk, but we need to see all of the things, right? Uh, your eyelashes are amazing. Thank you. I, I'm telling you, I have terrible eczema on my eyelids, so I can't really wear any makeup. So the eyelashes uh, have been a game changer, right? Game changer that uh, I don't scare you guys with the uh, very messy face. Okay. Let me change my light and then we'll get right into it. So the printmaker is really for personalizing things. So to give you an idea of what I messed around with on Thursday, let me show you what I was making and playing with. And then we'll get into what we're going to do today. So today is International Scrapbook Day. So one of the things that I thought would be fun is why not make some borders? with this little baby. So we'll get into the kind of things, but I feel like you need to see what it does, right? So look at that. I made a International Scrapbook Day border that you could put on ribbon or washi tape or paper. So I did that. I did with my mistakes too. I added them so we can talk about that. I made my own do all the things little border. So I could put this on shoelaces. I could put it on ribbon. I could put it on cork and wood and lots of different surfaces. Really, your only limitation with what surface you could put it on is if it's non-porous, like glass or shiny finishes, unless a shiny finish is printable. You know how you can buy things that are printable? But how fun is that, right? And then I, should, I, I saved the one with the boo-boos. So if you played with this and it gets a little black line on it, we'll talk about that. That just means you need more spacing on your canvas, the, the actual space you make art, because it just does those little lines. Although I would use this because it looks like I did it on purpose, right? Uh, they have washi tape you can use. Yep, you definitely, see, it's right here. Washi tape you can use and you can buy ribbon right from them because it should be cotton. Um, if you want it to be permanent, you would just put a fabric sealer on it. So I'm going to try to cover as many things as I can in a very short period of time and actually still scrapbook something. So look at this to me is one of probably the main ways I would use this thing is labeling, journaling. Um, I could put it on the back of my cards. You can import your own art so I could put my logo into the printmaker and I could sign things with my logo. So it's very fun, right? So I did a whole bunch, here's ribbon. Look at the ribbon. And I am excited. I will be sharing more when I customize with my Vicky Boot logo. So um, when we go on the cruise and do different things, I could like wrap my gifts and give away with customized Vicky Boot and stuff, right? So um, look at, I took some cards and it's it takes a little practice, I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like you need to practice with any new tool to kind of get the things, but these are tags that the art was already done, but I added like the little butterflies and the journaling and the um, little you and me with a butterfly. I had like this uh, where it said bucket list, but I put top 10 on it. So I customized that. So for me as a paper crafter, I feel like, look it, look how fun that is. I put Devin's name on it. So really it is for personalizing. I would say that's what it is. Is this something that everybody will need? Um, no, it's it's not a, it's it's not an inexpensive tool because it's technology, but I really do love it. Uh, the app adds a new um, collection once a month. We'll talk about all things. So anyway, I did tissue paper. That's what we're going to be working with today. Look at this. So I customize my own tissue paper that I'm gonna put on this layout. How fun is that? So this is definitely freehand. Oh, like, seriously, look, so fun, right? So it really is, you'd, you'd need to sit down and play, be prepared that some stuff is not gonna work out. Even for me, when I was doing it, I'm like, okay, and pay attention to what you're doing because I kept screwing stuff up. 
But what we'll talk about, let's talk about the printmaker. So when you get it, it's in this box, right? It comes in this box like this. You open it up, pretty much that's all you need to get it started. Right there, your information. So like I said, do not think I'm a pro printmaker. You have uh, my friend Allie Dosdale and my friends at We Are have tons of videos. They're the experts because they need to be. They need to show you how to use these things. So for me, I'm just a user. So just know that Vicki is not a printmaker expert. She is an enthusiast, <laughs> okay? So when you get, um, I'm gonna do it on my um, iPad so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So hopefully the glare won't be too bad. But this is what the app looks like. So my collections are all in here, right? Because I've downloaded all of them. So when you get the printmaker, you get the app and all the contents in it for a subscription for a year. And then you renew and I think it's like 30-ish US. Totally worth it, right? Totally worth it. So here's the tip. Anything that you create and save is yours. Anything you download but you haven't made anything from it, it goes away. So say you're like, I don't know if I'm going to want... To me, if you're investing in the machine, you're going to invest in the subscription every year. But um, that is the tip that uh, my friend Chastity told me is save any of your designs and they're yours. But the collections will go away when your subscription is up. Thank you. I just bought my blouse at the at the loft. Loft. The loft. Oh, my goodness. I did damage in that store. So if you love my style, you need to shop at the loft right now because... It was a whole store of Vicky Booten with the freaking oranges and navy and stuff. My goodness. Total Vicky Booten store. So when you get this, it has this little base that it sits in. And when you turn it around, see, locked and unlocked. So if you want to take it with you, make sure that it's locked. Or if you're going to move it, make sure it's locked so you don't drop your very... Um, expensive little tool on the floor okay so there when you put it in your ink is on the bottom see what i just did you have your little ink tool that you can just get the ink going like that okay and it sits in the machine like this when it is on it has this little white highlighted button okay like i said this is not going to be an in-depth lesson on we're, we got to get into the things okay so when I go in here first thing I'm going to do is design something and then we can go ahead and make something out of it right you're getting it out of the box it takes a while to charge okay Kari probably 40 minutes to charge so get the thing going and then maybe you're like uh, making breakfast or something you can come back and use it later today but uh, definitely takes a while to charge so when I go in here, you have like home, create, which is, this is your canvas, which you can make bigger um, up here. So if you're like, I can't see any of that. And for our sake, I'll do that, okay? Uh, this is where you make everything. Your maximum width is 16 inches. So you could print 16 inches of, uh, say it's one ongoing ribbon that says, I love you, you're the best. You're my favorite, uh, we'll be friends forever, could all go down the ribbon. The maximum height is five eighths of an inch, five eighths of an inch. So you can go smaller than that, but that is the widest height, okay? So this represents five eighths of an inch. So when you go in here, let's go back to, do do. what do you, no, what is happening? Um, no, how do I get out of there? Sorry friends, I pressed the wrong button. So back into create. So right, you have home, which is where all of your collections are. You go through and you pick your collection. I've pretty much downloaded all of them. So let's say, oh, I love this. You can see exactly what's in that collection as clip art. So this is gonna be art that uh, you're using exactly what's there. Some of them you can change the color. Some, it doesn't work so well. So you just kind of go with it. Patterns are for um, backgrounds or for washi tape or ribbon, but you could certainly use different um, aspects of that. And then templates are, uh, you can go in here and change a lot of these things. 
Isn't that fun? So not every collection has all three of them, but most have clip art and patterns. I find the newer collections have the templates. So I'm done with that one. I'm gonna have to charge this sucker too. So let me flip it. I stole, this is Rich's laptop, or what is this thing called, iPad? And I stole it from upstairs because I couldn't find mine. Ooh, geez, Vicky, what are you doing here? Sorry. Sorry, don't want you guys to have a stroke. Let me unplug some things. Give me a sec, friends. Sorry, the light is jiggling in here. I'm going to unplug this. I apologize for my very professional studio setup. There we go. There we go. Hopefully this is the right charger. Or I have to unplug my phone. Of course it is not. <laughs> It's how we roll around here. So guys, remind me to plug my phone back in, okay? Eh, there we go. My phone is fully charged, so ah, there we go. So when you go in here, you have all of those, right? Create is where we're gonna need to be now. So we will make that bigger. From up here, you have file, right? Where you can name your file, move it, delete it, create a new canvas, which is, this is what we're gonna call the canvas. To make it bigger, you just zoom to select. So pan view means I can touch and move things around anywhere in my canvas. For uh, select objects would be just one thing. Like I click on it and I could move that, but the rest of the canvas won't move unless it's clicked on. You have undo and like go back and forward and then your save is at the top, okay? So now down here is tools. So when I go in here, I can do um, shapes, which I could just put a random circle heart. You have text, you have import, which is very important. That's where we're gonna import things. And then you have images, which is what you could download photos. If I wanna put a little picture of my dog that I don't have on there, or I wanted to put my logo, that's where you go for import, which we'll come back and do a whole separate one on that. But for now, let's just do basic use of this sucker, okay? So let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Is the glare, if I put it on a little bit of an angle, would that be better? Let's see. Okay, import. So here are all of my collections, right? And the other thing that's in here are files that I have created. So there is where to next that I'm gonna start importing some images from where to next I can put in there. Unsorted is all the things that I've kind of made that are in here, right? Um, so, and things that uh, I didn't make, like things that were, I think, um, added, you know, just basics. So there's my International Scrap Day, a Scrapbook Day, which we'll uh, show you that one. So let's get out of there and let's go into just picking. Let's go into Fifth and Monaco. I really like this collection. So I can go in here and you know I love butterflies. So let's pick a butterfly, right? So remember when you have your select, if I pan view, I can um, select anything on my screen. You just use your binding bounding box, the little square. And this one will turn, the big square turns, right? And then these squares are what you could resize it with, right? And I could resize it, turn it, and add one here. And then I could copy. I want another butterfly that I can turn and add here. So let's just do this kind of dealio. You have buttons that say arrange and align. So align will help you like center to the left, to the right. And then, um, oops, I'm on the wrong thing. Canvas is where I need to be. No, what do I need to do? I think click on my art there. And then arrange is where I could go move it to the back or front, which you're not gonna really see with the color, but arrange would be like if you want images to come to, like I want the butterfly to go behind the words. I'll show you in the next step. So let's put a word in here. So then I can go into tools and I could either put my own text, which let's just put my name. Uh, I'm gonna cap lock it and put Vicky, cause that's me. 
Let's do Vicky B, done. And now I can select that and move it here. I can make it bigger, right, bigger. Let's change the color of it just by going down here to color. You have all of these or custom that you can slide around here and pick your colors. So Vicky wants hot pink, there we go. Other things that I can do is change the font. So let's pick off this section. This one is way better than the one I had on my phone. I'm gonna start using it on the iPad because I'm like, I did not have this selection of fonts on my phone, isn't that crazy? So let's see, oh, I love it. Or, uh, come on, Vicky, you have not a lot of time. Pacifico, I like that font. Okay, so now that's a little bit big in that font, so let's move it. So see what I was saying about placement of the butterflies? So if I go in here and I want that, butterfly's already at the back, but let's say I wanted it to be the front, I would do the move. See how that's, can you guys see that? That it is moves to the front or the back. These are important in design, right? Because I wouldn't want that butterfly in the front of my name. I would want it behind so I could still see it. So then when you're done, let's grab something to print it on. So there's the other thing that is, I think, important in this if you are doing it as a scrapbooker, which today we're going to look at the printmaker as a scrapbooker. The paper you use will affect the um, brightness of your who does full lessons on how to use and create the printmaker? I'll do another one, Jill, but just definitely look on We Are Memory Keepers um, YouTube. But for today, I only have an hour and I actually want to make a page. So I'm loving this tool. I'll come back, Jill, and do a full thing on uh, how to use this, okay? But for today, this is kind of the infomercial. I'm just going to give you kind of like, this is cool. If you were thinking about it, here's some of the things you can do with it. But I will commit to you, Jill Bushart, to come back and do a full one. So the papers I'm going to use today are foundations paper, which has a vellum finish. So the ink sits on top initially. So I find it's a little bit brighter. And then just a regular piece of, it's better quality. It's like Nina or something, cardstock. And then some tissue paper. So we're going to use these three surfaces, okay? So to start, let's go like you were just playing. Just got it out of the box. I want to do something with it. I'm going to make sure it's on. Okay, so the light's on. It'll sing sometimes. Didn't today, but it will in a minute. I'm going to put it to print. So here is my artwork. I am going to, for the first one, we'll just send it to printer so you guys can see it in action, okay? So here is things that you need to know. If you're going to invest in this thing, you need to invest in this magnetic mat. Because if you try to freestyle it and go freehand, you get jiggly art. You really need it to sit. Listen. So that's magnetic. It sticks to the board in this little tray. It comes in the 12 inch. It's almost 13 inches, I guess. And it comes in the six inch so you have two different sizes you need this thing or your art's going to look like poo poo it's it's for freehand when we do the tissue paper you'll see but okay so i'm going to send to printer oh put paper underneath it vicky you dingling okay so let's i can use my grid underneath to line up you have these rulers which are helpful that you can use as well but really this thing is is your saver other tips your printmaker sits right at the beginning here. I'll show you, okay? It's gonna go right here with the arrow facing out. I'm going to send to printer. Now it should go beep. Oh, here it went beep, beep, beep. So it's getting ready, it's prepping, it's flashing while it's ready to go. Do you see there's a light right here? That's where it will start printing. So right now where I have it set up, it's going to start at the zero mark. So that's where you would adjust your paper or your tag or whatever you're printing on for where you want it to print. So it, I waited too long, let's do it again. It will go green when it's ready to print, okay? And I just drag it and look at what I made. So it started right at the zero mark, right? 
And now let's show you if I want to do a whole row of them. I would go back in here and it says done printing. Sorry, this thing is filthy. It's riches. He's dirty. And I would send it to print. And maybe I want to repeat the pattern. Down here says repeatable pattern. You could, let's repeat it uh, three times to show you that first. So three times, send to printer. It's ready to go when it is green, right? It's going to start right at the edge. One, two, three. Very nice, right? Say I want to make a ribbon with my name on it or shoelaces in case I get lost. You'd know where to send me home. I could put that on here. See, wherever the light is, like I'm going to put it off so you guys can see. So the light is starting off the page. So let's go back and we're going to print that again. And I am going to repeat it infinite. So I want it to keep printing until it runs out of paper, okay? Send to printer. Green means go, so you press that light. When it's green, it's ready to print. There we go, ready? Look at that go. So, do you see I printed on my mat? Oh no, I printed on my mat. But look at how fun is that? Not a big deal, it wipes right off when Vicky can find something to wipe it off with. It's not a very good infomercial when I don't have my tools ready, right? The printmaker, uh, I just went on uh, scrapbook.com. I put my links on there. And I think it was like 250 US, but you watch. It's on HSN if you're American. It goes on sale. I think they have it as well at Michael's, which, you know, they'll have deals on it. Um, it's a lot of technology in this little thing, right? So, but just watch, because I would say that, um, and I think scrapbook.com has a big sale on today. So my affiliate links are in for scrapbook.com and a cherry on top. It's probably on sale at one or the other. Um, if you're going to be looking today, it, it costs you nothing, but it certainly helps for these videos that I bring, right? So I want to show you a boo-boo. Okay, I'm going to show you something. So let's go to done printing. I want to go back to my canvas. So let me, this is it, okay? So I'm going to, oh, what did I do? What did you do? Oh, it's still here. Okay, I thought I broke it. I want to show you this because I think this is something that could happen all the time. So I'm going to click on my canvas and see, this is my bounding box where I can adjust my canvas. So this is where if your art is longer, you would adjust here. So I think a lot of people would look and go, oh, I need it to be like right there. I'm going to put my canvas right nice and tight. So let's see if I can make the boo-boo of the black line. So I'm going to send that to printer. And I'm, oh, and also if you go in and out of your artwork, you would have to set that infinite and you'd have to reset if you're doing multiples. So just be careful. So let's put that on here. I'm gonna do multiples again, right? Oops, I gotta go back, just a sec. Send to printer. And I'm going to do repeatable, infinite, send to printer, and hopefully the boo-boo will happen. Hopefully the boo-boo will happen. So I'll put it in here. When it's green means go. Oh, it didn't happen. So let me go tighter. I want to show you this because this is something I have found that happens a lot to me if my canvas is too small. So look at how funny was that. I'm like, let me show you this thing. And then it didn't, didn't happen. Canvas zoom so my friends can see what I'm doing. Click on my canvas again. Let's do it tighter. We'll see if I can make it happen. Move that right over. Move our butterflies in and see if I can show you what I'm talking about with this canvas thing. Because this is like if I can make it happen, of course, if I didn't want it to happen, it'd be happening all over the place. But um, it's when you're doing the repeating pattern. If the art is too tight, you will get a little black line between them. And that is, I just wanted to show you, it's not working. <laughs> of course, you know, I want to show you, but it's just 
getting prettier and prettier. So anyway, it's a tip. When we do the in-depth kind of thing, we'll have more time to make the boo-boos, right? Can you guys still see me? Can someone talk to me? I was having the um, uh, circle of death, and I didn't want that to happen, where you guys can't see what's going on. So with this one, I am going to do two things. Let's do this one first. I want to show you on foundations paper. So one of the magic things about the printmaker is you can print on anything pretty much width-wise, like things that would not fit in your printer, you can print on with the printmaker, like a little those little wood discs. Say you have a baby shower or a wedding shower and you wanted to personalize gifts, you could print on wood chips, cork, um, fabric, lots of different things. So if you're like, well, why would I need this? Why couldn't I just use my printer? I think it's the versatility that you couldn't put cork or wood chip through your printer, but you could personalize things using this little guy. So let's do the, so I want this to continue right across the page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line up my little guide and I've put it where the um, zero starts off the page. So I can do one continuous line. And I already created this, so let's go to it. I'm done printing. Let's delete this guy, sorry. It's hard with, well, I'll just go to create, I think. I can go home. Uh, I don't need to save that, because I can make that again. Let's create. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And now I'm gonna go to import. And I'm gonna import my international scrapbooking day thing. Boop, boop. I think it's in unsorted. Do we see it here? International scrapbook day. I made this already, right? So I'm gonna put it in. Now I'm gonna tell you, for something this long and depending, the repeat right now would be about uh, almost two inches. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna go to one and a half. Now, do you notice I kept it right up at the top? This might be too small. You guys might not even see it. Let's go bigger, Vicky. Stop with your craziness. Okay, we'll go back to that size. You can put it up at the top and up at the bottom. Then I know where it's going to print. A straight line in that section. So I just like to put it in the top. So let's leave it there. We'll send it to print. I want to make that border I created. So I'm going to do infinite and I'm going to send to printer. And I'm going to make it right across. It's magnetic. It holds everything in place. Press the green for go. And then we're going to pull it right across. And it should make this little border. That's really tiny. We'll do one more. I'm going to do one more. Okay. So let's just move it down. And I want to scallop it. So I'm going to go in there and leave enough space so I could make a scallop border with that done printing let's make that way bigger so this is where we would go in pull up our canvas because this is really how it worked for me I have to play with it because right I don't know some of you guys will be smarter with the maths Vicky struggles so let's make that bigger so we'll make it a two and a half inch repeat now okay the size of the art so let's go back to um, this and make it Right, just drag it out with your bound bounding box to about two and a half inches there, ish, right? Zoom out, see things that I think I can do like on my phone, but I can't. So there, it's in my bounding box, send to printer. In a minute after I'm gonna make my canvas a little bit shorter, uh, we're gonna do infinite and then you'll be able to see this. Don't drop your iPad on the floor. Rich's iPad. He'd be, he'd be crying if I broke it. Okay. So I've set up again. Green means go. Printer is printmakers right at the back. Green means go. Vicky didn't actually print it or press it. Here we go. Let's see, friends. Uh, oops, see, there's the black line. 
I show you a black line. So that's because the artwork was too close. Look it. And my ruler's dirty. That's what happens when your um, bounding box, the, the creating area, you pull it in too tight. So on the foundations paper, because it's vellum finish, I find it's really nice and bright. So that gives you an idea. I already have one made, so I'm not gonna do it again. But there, look, I made my own. I could put this on ribbon. I could uh, put it across and make my own pattern paper, which I'm gonna show you right now. Cause this one, we're gonna go rogue, okay? This one, we're gonna go rogue. And I'm going to create a pattern right across tissue paper using the art that I already have saved in here. Okay, so we're gonna go done printing. I'm gonna uh, move this, delete this guy, delete and insert. Uh, I, I hope I saved it, we'll see. Because I was having so much fun playing that maybe, <laughs> remember, this is what I did. And I made it as big as I could get it in the box. That would repeat, okay? So I'm gonna make my canvas slightly smaller. And then we're gonna send it, we're gonna repeat it, and I'm going to make my own pattern paper. Okay? So I'm gonna freestyle this one. Now, could you, if you wanted to use a ruler or something, you could, but I'm just gonna freestyle kind of on an angle, all right? So I'm going to put it on, oh, actually you don't have to. Why, let's not freestyle it. Let's put it on an angle, because this might be a little easier because you can control. I'm gonna start it wherever I want for this one, right? Let's go. Oops, I, I waited too long, just a sec. Let's go back, green. Waited too long because I talked too much. There we go, look at that. And now I am going to move it down a little bit. And let's do another one. Move it down a little bit. And let's start it wherever we want. Let's go up here. So it's still working. If the green light goes off, just make sure you turn on your green light. See, and if you want the full uh, remember, uh, you wouldn't want to, you'd want to reset it every time, right? So let that green light go off and then you do another one and the whole remember would come on here because you can see only some of the letters coming on. So if I want the full remember, I would start it and have a new green light every time and your full design will go on. Let's move it here. Does that make sense? Now watch, if I don't, the green light is still on, it just ends wherever I lifted it. Does that make sense? So I would want to not, I'd want it to reset every time. So look at that friends. This is on tissue paper that I use, it's it's a little heavier tissue, right? Look at, so then what I did is I went in and why can't I layer another pattern? And I went in and I moved my guide and I went in and picked this guy, which was out of the designs, but I saved it, right? If we save it, it's always ours. Uh, where was I? Unsorted. And it was a row of hearts. There, look. Now, again, so I know exactly where my placement is. I put it right at the top. Let me have a drink. Does that make sense? If I put it right at the top or right at the bottom, I know my art is going to be right up at the top of the ruler. If I put it in the middle, it will print kind of in the middle right? So look at, I know those hearts. Let's do this one first. So you can see part of remember showing. I think my hearts are going to come out right on top of that. So I'm going to send it. <coughs> Sorry, friends. I'm going to, again, do my infinite send to printer. It just chirped at me. It's ready to go. 
When it stops flashing, green means go. <coughs> so now I think those hearts are going to overlap. And they did right where I thought it was going to be, right? See what happened? Because I put it at the top of the design, I could totally see where it was going to go. So now if I want it in the middle of these two and not overlapping, I would line the top of my ruler right where I want the art to go, which is kind of here. I press green for go. <coughs> Sorry, friends. Oh, it's all that screaming at my Billy Idol concert last night. I could place it again. Green is go because I'm all right that it's the artwork just starts wherever. Green for go, right? And now I've made my own pattern paper. One other thing, well, I'm not going to get in because today is about scrapbooking, right? So I wanted you to see kind of the basics of what this tool will do. Any questions? Because I'm looking at the computer right now. So remember when I was talking to you guys, things that I made for today with pictures. Are you guys shocked? I even printed photos and then grabbed some things that I could use. So that's what I'm saying now. I went in and did all of these. I layered my, my own writing and elements from the print shop um, compendium, the printmaker, pardon me, printmaker. And then I made all of these different little elements myself. I made the border. I made these borders with the boo-boo. I made this lovely scalloped one, which I absolutely love and feel like we should use today. So I have about 10 minutes to make a layout. So you guys will see at least the beginning of it, right? What are the replacement things that you need to keep the printmaker working? Uh, replaceable ink. Ink, I think, was about $45. I don't even know yet how long it works, the ink lasts. I will ask. I will get all of the basic information for you guys. And um, I will also do a full, like, Friday Night Live using the printmaker. So what would be awesome is let's, on the Vicki Booten Creative Community Board on Facebook, I will start a thread or a post later that any questions you have and I will get the information for you, right? Um, is that a separate scallop border tool? No, I just use my border punch, right? I use my border punch, Jill, just like we do in classes. So I made that just using anything that I have in my tools. So we look at this as a piece of pattern paper, right? So let's do some things. I have 15 minutes to show you what my plan was for a layout. Because this one was my shortest one today. This is going to be the shortest session because it's hard to fit everything I wanted to do in um, an hour or in one day, right? So I will show you what my plan was. So let's get all of my little doobies out of the way and let's focus on what I made. Look it. So this is tissue paper that I created, right? That I created. And I am going to kind of decoupage it. So in a perfect world, I could have went in. Well, let's do something quick because, you know, Vicky can Vicky can roll. Vicky can roll. So what do I have here? This. I'm just going to grab any ink I have right beside me. And we are going to quickly do a background. I feel like it would layer really nicely on here. Of course, the stencil's in the pack. So let's grab the sucker out. Let's grab some peacock feathers. And an ink blending tool. And let's see how quickly I can make some. I'm hoping that's not oxide ink. We will see in a second. I don't think so. Good. Okay. Good. Can you guys see it? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna create, oops. See, of course I picked the hardest stencil to, to use, but we can make anything work. So a stencil like this, did you see what I said? The hardest stencil, because it's very easy when you have something linear to push your ink underneath, right? So uh, don't do this blending unless you're very gentle. It's more, I follow the pattern 
of the art and don't go too fast because it's really easy to push your ink underneath, okay? And I'm trying to be fast, right? Because this is the little thing. Can we make a layout? Because I can show you all the things you could do with that printmaker and you're like, cool, but do I need it? You need to see the art in action, right? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this pattern-ish down. It's not a true repeatable pattern, but we can fake it. And I'll show you quickly what we can do when you make a mess like I did up there when my stencil moved on me. When we're gonna fake it till we make it. Love it, okay? So my stencil moved on me. Well, we'll pretend like we wanted that to happen just by breaking up our pattern with a little water because that's the magic of distress. And you guys know I love my Tim Holtz anything and I love Ranger. So look it, fixed. Now there looks like there's boo-boos all over it. So that is how we fix stamping errors, right? Stamping errors. Yes, Bible journaling. This will be great for your planners for, um, oh, so many things, right, friends? I only showed you kind of from a scrapbooking point of view, but yes, so many things. So now look, I could layer that in here. So you could have done some more inky magic, right? I'm gonna put it up here because I know I want my borders on here. So two options, I could glue stick this or I could put a uh, matte medium down and uh, on the background. Remember, this ink is going to move around just like that distress ink did. So you don't wanna put anything wet on top of it. My moisture needs to be underneath and I could brayer it on. So I'm gonna glue stick the heck out of this. Right, let's put it on like it's butter because it will soak into the paper if you don't, right? So uh, let's put on this just so I can go off the design. Okay, off the design and I'm gonna finish this layout tonight off screen and I will post it in the Vicki Booten Creative Community on my IG, Instagram, like wherever so you guys can see how this page will come together, okay? So I'm just gonna get that on here. Glue stick is your friend because it's nice and wet medium but controllable. Eek. I just need to get the little ends. Try not to rip it. Vicky's, ah, I ripped it. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. But I'll fix it the best I can. Okay, good enough, right? Good enough. Because you could put it on wrinkly too, right? Kind of like a distressy thing. So now I'm gonna put it here-ish. I could always put a border right beside it too, right? Let's just get it on, Vicki. Straighten that piece I tore a little bit. Good enough. Right? Lay it down. Your brayer is your friend, so you're not sticking your inky, gluey fingers and everything. Wipe your brayer off if any of that glue came out. See? I can see it coming out the edge. Look how fun that is. And now it's almost like your own rub on because it is on tissue paper. It goes right into my background. Love it. So look at, I got dirt from the um, other one on there. How fun is that? How fun is that? So the tissue paper, making my own pattern paper, I think, will be definitely revisited because I think that's a fun one, okay? And then my idea is that when I go for the next steps, will be putting my borders on, but I will back them with some pattern paper, right? 
I could put my ribbon on if I wanted to, too, right? I have my ribbon. And then I have this is going on here, do all the things. And I'm going to put them on pattern paper because they're white, right? And then my photos will go on here when I cut them apart. I'm going to do two photos on here, too. I already have the mats to give you an idea, right? So I'm going to make a layout, put my titles on here. So I will share all of this with you after the fact, because this was our, this is our shortest one today for all of the things that I'm doing. So look at all with this little beauty. And really, we're only touching the surface of what you can do. So more to come, because I have nothing invested in this. I just like using it, right? I just like using it. American Crafts uh, and We Are sent me one and they're like, we think you'd like this, Vicki, because you like techniques. And I just started using it and made a mess on here, but we'll all vicify that. But that is a little tip, something you can use if you guys had this and you haven't used it. You just found the machine on Amazon for 89 bucks. There you go. There you go, friends. So let me flip the camera, say goodbye. And then I'm going to, oops, sorry, jiggled you around. Hi, that was a lot of fun. So I will put up a post so you can ask your questions. You can ask the questions in the regular section here, but because there's a giveaway, the comment section is going to be jam-packed. So two options. Come and join me on the Vicki Booten Facebook page, my private Facebook page, and I'll start a thread like for each one of these sessions. So any questions that I missed, I can post there. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, like, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already because it all helps me. Um, and then put a comment in the regular section, not here because no names will be drawn out of the live conversation. Put your comment in the other section underneath the video. And then uh, next Saturday, I will be uh, randomly selecting a winner to win one of these print shops. So yay. Thank you so much, friends. On to the next link, which is going to be Tim Holtz. So just give me a few minutes to take all this crap off my desk and set up for the next one. It's going to be so much fun. So we'll see you in a minute. Thanks for joining me. And uh, have fun with your print shop. See you guys later. Got to figure out how to end this. There it is. Bye, guys. Eek.